Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another Todd E. Walnuts update video. We're chilling at the Walnuts compound in the great state of Wisconsin. I'm joined again by the lovely ladies, Miss Hannah on the right, Miss Heidi on the left. I got a little pile of stuff here. Um, I picked up some VHS tapes recently. Picked up a little pile from the Aero sale that's still going on. I got some pretty good deals here for that. I have a little miscellaneous pile and the cherry on top of this update video is a couple of box sets that I picked up and you guys are going to want to stick around to see these. I'm going to show them last and I'm going to share the information in the description box below. You're going to want to stick around and check that out. Trust me on that. So let's get into it and see what I picked up over the last few weeks. Okay, so we will start with a couple of VHS tapes I picked up at a thrift shop. These are really nothing big, but uh, I think I picked these up for 50 cents a piece. And I just wanted to add these to the VHS collection. And the first one is the original release of Daryl Hannah in the Clan of the Cave Bear. This is the old school release, the very first release of it. And it has that, that retro feel. It just looks so cool. I put it in a plastic protector. Movie from 1986. Very, very cool. So that was the first one. Second one is another John Wayne title. Trying to pick up as much of these older John Wayne movies as I can. Just to kind of complete that collection. And this is the second time that John Wayne and Dean Martin starred together in a, in a Western. This is the Sons of Katie Elder. The first one was Rio Bravo. And this is another great movie. There you can see Dean Martin's character right there. And of course there's the Duke. And this was in really, really good condition. You can see that I got that at a St. Vincent de Paul for 50 cents. And if you guys like westerns and you've never seen this one, definitely check it out. I'm positive that you will enjoy it. And the last one from the thrift shop was Star Trek II The Wrath of Khan. And I, I like the way that this looked. It kind of has that comic book style cover with that old school kind of poster art there on the cover. This was another 50 cent purchase. Really, really good condition. I mean, these were like brand new almost. So these were the three little thrift shop pickups I grabbed. All in really, really pristine condition. So I ordered some stuff from Sub Rosa Studios. Let's check that out. So Sub Rosa Studios, a.k.a. SRS Cinema, is a company that releases a lot of shot on video movies and they release a lot of different types of movies as far as uh, VHS and the big box, uh, VHS and clamshells, DVDs, Blu-rays. I really love the company. I, I, I do love shot on video movies. And these are a couple of classics that I owned already in my collection. And these are Herschel Gordon Lewis movies. These were two of the movies from the Blood Trilogy. Um, like I said, I own these already. I pulled them out just to show that I did complete this little trilogy now with my latest purchase, but I'll kind of go over what I had before. And this is from 1963. This is the original Blood Feast. And that's freaking beautiful in that big box. This was limited to 100 pieces. I got number 92 and you know, they called Herschel Gordon Lewis the godfather of gore, which was a nickname also shared by Fulci. Um, but Gordon was known for his very low budget, over the top splatter movies, and these are no exception. So in 1964, they came out with kind of like part two of this blood trilogy, and this was called 2000 Maniacs, which was another beautiful box set 
from Sub Rosa Studios. These are long out of print now, and I think they're going for some pretty good money on secondary markets. Um, I got number 65 out of 100. And so I recently picked up, this was one I wanted for a while, and it's been out for a couple of years now, but this is kind of, I guess, air quotes, part three of the Blood Trilogy, even though they, these movies have nothing to do with each other. It's just kind of like a, a, a three-part splatter movie. Uh, this is called Color Me Blood Red. And this one was not issued in a big box. And I'll show you the difference between the two in a minute here. But this is a clamshell. Look at that artwork, man. That is a beauty. And these were only limited to 50. I got number 43. And when you look inside, I mean, it just brings back the, the feeling of the VHS days from 2014. This was released. So I completed the little trilogy. So there they are, side by side by side. And you can see that the big box is quite a bit bigger. Um, it's a little bit bigger in every aspect other than, let's see, if I put this right in the middle. Yeah, it's a little bit wider, a little bit longer, and a little bit thicker, too. I like both of the formats, the big box and the clamshells, but I think if I had to pick one over the other one, I would pick a clamshell. They just look nicer on the shelf, but these are really highly collectible, and I like the way that they look together. So I was glad to finally get that trilogy. And these were released on Blu-ray by a company called Something Weird Video. And this was the Blood Trilogy. This was released many years ago now. But it has all three of them on there. Color Me Blood Red, 2000 Maniacs, and Blood Feast. Let's see if it says when this was released on Blu-ray. 2011. So it's been out for 11 years already. But, you know, they did a really good job with this Blu-ray. But I would love to see a company like Vinegar Syndrome or even Scream Factory come out with collector's editions of each of the movies instead of having them three together on one set. I'd like to see like a single release with a, you know, beautiful slip color, maybe some a slip cover. I think I said slip color, but <laughs> um, you know, some some bonus features and stuff like that. I think this would be really good. I think it would be popular and I think a lot of people would pick these up. So That was the first of the Sub Rosa movies. I have two more to show in this video, and I also have a pretty decent size order that's still coming in the mail. So I'll, I'll save those for a different update video. I think I have like maybe uh, five or six, maybe seven more tapes, VHS tapes coming in the mail. So like I said, I'll, I'll save those for a future update. The next VHS tape is another clamshell, and this one's called Pazicus. Island of Vomit and Despair. Another shot on video movie and it's another over the top, over overly gory type movie. This was limited to 15. I got number 10 out of 15. I think these are still available as I'm recording this today. I think there's a couple left. So if you're interested in checking that out, go over to SRS Studios um, and check those guys out. I'll leave a link down below for that channel. So yeah, that looks really cool. Glad to have that in the collection. These are really nice additions too. Um, very heavy and they just have a nice feel to them. You can see the spine there. They have a little extra artwork on the top, the title, and then the VHS logo, and then the SRS logo there at the bottom. Beautiful additions. And then the last VHS tape for this update video is called Little Cory Gory. Check out that artwork. Another one that was limited. I got the very last one. These are now sold out. It was only limited to 25 out of 25. But I think you can still buy the Blu-ray if you're interested in that. So this is a new HD transfer 
uncut for the first time on VHS. And these are really highly collectible. I love these. You can see that it has, you know, these are low budget films, but you know, they, they put a lot of effort into these low budget films and I, I find a charm to them. And then this one came with like a little art card for another movie that they're selling on their site called Night Feeder. And Uktena, they have a lot of Asian movies too on their website, a lot of Asian monster movies. So eventually I'd like to grab some of them if, I, if I'm not too late because they, like I said, they sell out pretty quick. So these are the three for this video. You'll see more uh, in, a, in a future update, but these are the three for now. Let's get into the Arrow titles that I picked up. These first couple that I'm going to show I have not watched yet. These just came in the mail a couple of days ago. And um, these were part of the Arrow sale that's still going on. I, I think they're calling it the summer sale. I, I don't know how long it's going on, but it's been going on for at least a, a month or longer so far. And uh, I was able to take advantage of the sale. And I, I added quite a few Arrow titles to my collection this summer. So um, they're almost like 50% off. They're very, very cheap, very affordable. So the first one here is called Black Rainbow, a film by Mike Hodges, starring Rosanna Arquette and Jason Robards. It's a movie from 1989. These are, this is Region A. And they're calling this one the Director Approved Special Edition. And the tagline at the top says, she has just witnessed a murder that hasn't happened yet. Supernatural chiller, they're calling it. So I am looking forward to checking this out. And for the price I paid, you know, even if it's a stinker, it's not really a, a swing and a miss. I mean, you can't really, can't go wrong with, I think it was like 15 or 17 bucks or something. There's a reversible cover. The very lovely Rosanna Arquette. And it comes with a booklet. And it comes with an art card that is advertising Pitch Black, starring Vin Diesel. Again, that looks very kind of comic booky. It seems to be very popular lately. Covers like that that are almost kind of comic book esque. I'm not complaining, I think it looks great. So here's the booklet. We'll kind of flip through this. You can see. Jason Robards there in uh, Rosanna Arquette. I always thought she was pretty cute. It said that she was the inspiration for the Toto song, Rosanna. She used to date one of the, one of the guys from Toto. I guess she used to bring them coffee to their their sets and stuff like that. And so I think as the story goes, she was the inspiration for the song Rosanna, which uh, if you ever want to hear some of the best drumming you'll ever hear, put on Rosanna right now, pause this video, put on the song Rosanna and listen to the, the drumming in that song. It's phenomenal. So that is Black Rainbow from 1989. Let's get into the next one. Here is the other one I haven't watched yet. This is called The Deeper You Dig, and it just sounded pretty interesting to me. And again, for the sale price that I got it for, it was it was worth the gamble to uh, blind buy it. It's a movie from 2019, so it's fairly recent. And again, this one is uh, Region A, 92 minutes running time. And this is the unrated edition. Let me see here, it says, um, a dark, unsettling meditation on grief, survival, and the brittle barrier that separates the living from the dead. The Deeper You Dig is a compelling and original entry in the canon of American independent horror. This one didn't come with a booklet or anything, but it does have a reversible cover. 
which also looks pretty good. It looks like a tarot card. It says death. Pretty cool. Looking forward to checking this one out. If any of you guys have seen either of these movies and you want to talk a little bit about it, please feel free to comment below. Just as always, leave it spoiler free, not only for myself, but for other people who read the comments section. I don't want to ruin it for them either. So, all right, let's move on to the next title. This next one here is a slasher movie that I had never seen before until a couple of nights ago. I, it's still in my player right now. I finished it. It was either it was last night or two nights ago I finished it up. Uh, Hell High from 1989. Uh, I thought it was pretty good. I thought it was um, better than I thought it was going to be. There's also a, an alternate cover that was sold, I believe, by Arrow Video's website only, I think. Uh, that one's coming in the mail for me. And I'll show that in an upcoming video. It's kind of like, a, I think it's their website exclusive cover or something, another slipcover like this, which, by the way, their slipcovers are beautiful lately. I mean, they're really, really high quality. Not that they always weren't, or weren't always, but um, they're even higher quality now, it seems like. But there's a reversible cover. I flipped it. Another high school slasher film. Um, I don't want to give too much of it away. There's some pretty good kills in it. Um, it kind of has a, it's a different take on the slasher genre too. Oh, and there's also a a segment with um, Joe Bob Briggs in the beginning. You can watch the beginning of this movie with the Joe Bob Briggs introduction, which I highly recommend you do. I think it's like three or four minutes long, and you can watch the Joe Bob Briggs segment first, and then it goes into the movie, and it's it's very very entertaining. Joe Bob Briggs always is, but he had me cracking up, man. There's a, there's a guy in here who gave one of the best male screams I've ever heard in a movie, and it cracked me up. I mean, it was like a, a full-on scream queen scream from a man, and uh, yeah, it was pretty funny. And Joe Bob Briggs mentions it, too. So, But uh, here's the booklet. The main character that was in here, his name was Christopher Stryker, who played Dickens. He kind of played one of the Jagoff students in this movie he died of AIDS before this movie was even released he died in 1987 Stryker did from from the AIDS virus and this movie wasn't released until 1989 so I believe they finished filming this movie in 86 and then shortly after that in 87 Stryker died and there's Stryker right there that's that's the guy he played Dickens in the movie. Yeah, he was a real jag off in the movie. But it, it's kind of sad to see that he died because I think he could have been a good actor. You know, he was a pretty good villain in this movie, and it's, you know, you, you'd never know what he would have gone on to do, you know, if he didn't pass away from that illness. But he may have had a, a nice career ahead of him. There he is again right there. So I do recommend the movie. I had never seen it before. Like I said, the disc is in my player right now, but I had never seen the movie, but it was it was a fun watch. And then here is a advertisement for Edge of Sanity, which has a Scream Factory release as well. And then I, I picked this one up from the sale a couple of weeks ago, about a month ago or so, from Arrow as well. So that is Hell High. If I had to give it a grade, on a scale of 1 to 10, 10 being like the best movie I've ever seen. I'd give this a good 6.5, which I think is a good, a good score for a horror movie. So let's move on to the next one. The last movie from Arrow Video in this update video is Shock by Mario Bava, 1977. This is the newest one right here. This also had an alternate cover from uh, Arrow Video's website. This was a website exclusive. And I picked this up... Uh, I don't know, about a month ago. They uh, they sent that to me, which uh, I'm very happy about that. So it's called Beyond the Door 2, but it was re originally released as Shock. And you guys may remember it by that cover. I think in the U.S., on DVD back in the day, it was put out by Anchor Bay a couple of different times. I think it had a standalone release, and I think it was in a box set, if I remember right. 
Um, but it comes with this beautiful slip cover. Very eerie. And this is region A. All those uh, bonus content. The audio commentary with Tim Lucas. I always enjoy Tim Lucas. He is the Mario Baba expert. Nobody knows more about Mario Baba than Tim Lucas. He had a, a book that came out called All the Colors of the Dark, which is almost impossible to find now for, afford, uh, for an affordable price. But yeah, this is a good movie. Comes with the disc there. It has the same image that's on the slip cover. So I flipped that to the original. And then it comes with a booklet. I'm going to keep this one sealed just as a collectible. It's the same movie exact same movie just a different title let me put those side by side and then we'll flip through the book really quick this one stars daria nicolodi who is argento's wife she was she's uh, passed away and she's asia argento's mother this is kind of a like a supernatural possession type movie part three was called a muck train beyond the door three which I have a I have a liking for that movie quite a bit it's pretty fun so I will show you quickly the what was it four titles that I picked up at, for the Arrow sale? That's still going on, by the way. And you can take advantage of their sale on their website, and you can also participate on Amazon. So Amazon has a lot of these titles for a good reduced price. So check it out. I recommend Hell High and Shock for sure. I haven't watched Black Rainbow and The Deeper You Dig. But for the price you get it for, you might as well give it a shot. But this one was, was pretty fun. So, All right, let's move on to the miscellaneous pile. Okay, so the first one from the miscellaneous pile is an upgrade on 4K of a Larry Cohen film called God Told Me To. The one here on the left is one that I had for a long time. This was put up by Blue Underground. They both are, but this was put up by Blue Underground back in 2015. And this is a movie from 1975. Very creepy movie, and it has kind of that serial killer vibe to it. Um, this is the 4K Blu-ray combo with the slipcover. I knew I was going to upgrade this eventually, and I wanted to grab it before the slipcover is gone. It says, warning, this film contains scenes of violence and intense horror. Yeah, this is a very kind of a shocking type movie. I guess you can call this a cult classic. A lot of people have, you know, become known to it by now. And it used to be kind of a hidden gem, but I think most people know about it now. But here on the right is the 4K Blu-ray, and here on the left is the Blu-ray. I like that they have their own unique art. And then it does have a reversible cover, which is the same image that is on the slip. So I flipped it to the original cover that is on the uh, first release of the movie. Um, this is a movie I, I strongly recommend to, I'm sure most of you guys have seen it by now, but I wanted to upgrade that for sure. But let's check out the next two. The next one up is one that I've wanted to upgrade for a while now. And this is the Severin release of Night of the Demon. This is a Bigfoot movie. Not to be confused with Kevin Tenney's Night of the Demons or Night of the Demon that was put out by Indicator Powerhouse. This was called Night of the Demon. This is the, well, you guys know the infamous scene in this movie. You can see right there the guy is holding his walnuts because something pretty tragic happens in this movie. But I know that 88 Films has also released a Blu-ray, which I want to get 
of this movie too. Uh, but this is the Code Red DVD of Night of the Demon. This came out a long time ago. Let's see if it has a, a year on here. Uh, I would say that this probably came out at least 15 years ago. The movie is from 1984, but this was probably released in the early 2000s by Code Red. Um, by the way, this is a really nice release of Night of the Demon from uh, Indicator Powerhouse, though. has nothing to do with the movie I'm talking about. But that was a limited release, 10,000. I got number 2055. Um, this was a beautiful release, and it was on sale. I picked this up on Amazon, and it still had the slipcover. I was pretty happy about that because you never really know when you're ordering on Amazon if you're going to get a slipcover or not. I think this was about 22 bucks, and this usually goes for around 27 So I felt like 5 bucks off was pretty good, and I wanted, to, I wanted to get this one for a while anyway. And like I said, I, I will get the 88 Films Blu-ray as well, but... This is a good Bigfoot movie. I love that cover. That looks really good. Two disc set because you get the movie here on the left. No, you get the movie here on the right. And then you get the extras on Blu-ray. So it's a two Blu-ray set. You get the movie and the extras on Blu-ray. And it does have a reversible cover from a cover I've never seen before, which looks beautiful too. So you do get three different choices. Well, you get two choices plus the slipcover. So you get that artwork, you get that artwork, and then you get the slipcover, which is beautiful. So it was a long time coming to upgrade the DVD. Uh, it's one of the better Bigfoot movies, too. So let's move on to the next title. Okay, the last Blu-ray in this update is called The Necrophiles from a new company called Visual Vengeance, which is a sister company of Wild Eye. So they kind of stepped up their game, Wild Eye. And from what I understand, uh, I ordered three other movies. There's One of them's coming tomorrow on Sunday. Uh, I'm gonna have to save that for a, another, a different update video. And then two I have pre-ordered, which are coming out, I think one's coming out in August and one's coming out in September, something like that. But uh, from what I understand, they are starting to release shot on video movies as well. Some of these kind of uh, obscure, unknown titles. So I'm into it, man. I'm, I'm down. So I, I tried it out. And I haven't watched the movie yet. This is called The Necro Files, which comes with this beautiful slipcover. From what I hear, it's really, really gory. And this movie won an award. I think it won like a best new movie at a film fest. I was reading about it. I don't think it says it here on the back. But this movie came out in 1997, I believe, and I think it won at some, at some movie fest. It won like uh, best movie of 1997 or 98, something like that. Um, I was reading about this online. Uh, they're calling it an underground classic, American Video Nasty. So I thought this was pretty cool, not only because it came with the slipcover, but the artwork looks beautiful. And it comes with some swag on the inside. I cracked up when I saw what was in here. I had no idea this was coming, um, what, what I found in here. But you get a condom, the Necrophiles condom. And on the back, it says, this product is for entertainment purposes only, not for human use doesn't look like it would fit anyway <laughs> but you know you get little stickers like this like uh, little VHS type stickers and then you get a pretty thick is this a booklet or a poster let's see okay uh, you get like a little art card here the necro files don't know anything about the movie haven't watched it yet but it looks like it's something I would be really interested in watching I do love shot on video. You have to be in the right mood or the right frame of mind when you watch shot on video, but it looks like this is a little poster scene from the movie. It almost looks like uh, children shouldn't play with dead things. Maybe it's homage to that movie, if you guys remember that movie. It looked very similar to that movie. So I thought that was pretty cool. You know, I 
don't know much about the company yet. I did do a little bit of reading. I, I do know a little bit about it, but looking forward to what you know they're bringing. There was like a, the other title was something about the bloody muscle man in hell or something. That one's coming tomorrow. I'll save that for another update. And then there's a couple of others that are pre-ordered. I think it was a Suburban Sasquatch and the LA AIDS Jabber. So I think those are, I pre-ordered those from Grindhouse Video. But anyway, let me stop talking about these movies. Let's get into these bad boys here. I want to show you guys these awesome box sets that I picked up. Okay, so about a week ago, give or take, I was on Etsy, as I do. I, I make my rounds through the internet. As a collector, I, I check all kinds of stuff out. And believe it or not, I was on Etsy looking for VHS tapes. I was looking for some of the old Halloween movies, some of the earlier releases from the Halloween John Carpenter classic. Um, and once you start looking for certain things, you find your way through the internet and you go down different rabbit holes. And all of a sudden, I don't know how I came onto this, but I found a guy on Etsy who was selling custom boxes for the Scream Factory 4K releases of Halloween, Halloween 2, 3, 4, and 5. And I thought that was a great idea. So I checked into it, I talked to the guy, I sent him a message. He was very knowledgeable about what he's doing. He's a fan, he's a collector too, so he gets it. Um, just check out this beautiful box. Now I wanna mention before I get into the details about these boxes that these are for the boxes only. You don't get any movies with these. These movies I owned already. These are the movies from Scream Factory. These are the, the 4K Halloween movies, the five of them that were released, I don't know, a year ago, whatever. I only bought the box. Just I want to make that clear because he told me that people are buying the box thinking that the movies come with it and they do not. So keep that in mind. But I'm going to leave his link down below. And his, his name, uh, his Etsy name is Blockbuster Box Sets. And I'm gonna link it down below. This guy has all kinds of stuff. He has the Halloween box set. I'm gonna show you another one here in a minute. But he has uh, Hellraiser, Star Wars, The Hobbit, The Godfather. These are all custom box sets where you can fit your steel books or your, you know, your movies. There's a custom section or you can make your own box set. He'll work with you. And like I said, he is a collector too, so he gets it. He understands that a lot of the packaging, the modern packaging is kind of crap, you know, compared to, I mean, this these box sets are beautiful. It's probably one of the best, uh, and I don't get anything from this. He's not paying me. I, I'm not getting anything for free from him. This is just an honest testimonial for his box sets. Um, you can kind of customize the way that you want this too, because he has different images that you can put on the box. This right here was called the, how did he put it? It was kind of like the default box set. That this is how it will come unless you tell him you want something different, which I thought this was beautiful, so I just left it as it is. But you get the Halloween 3 art. You get the custom part one, the, the you know, the iconic pumpkin with the knife. And then this was a Mondo poster, if I'm not mistaken. This was an image from a Mondo poster from like a few years ago. So this is the default box. This is what you'll get unless you want something else. And he has images that you can choose from. So, and the movies fit in here beautifully. Let's see if I can do this with one hand. I mean, they fit in there perfect. And there you have a, a ready to go box set that sits on your shelf. Now this is gonna look really nice next to my other Scream Factory Halloween box set, my Friday the 13th and the fly and all that stuff. So, like I said, his name is Blockbuster Box Sets on Etsy. I will link him down below. I have one more I want to show you, though. This one's even better. Okay, so here's the last box set. I saved this one for last because it was my favorite. You saved the best for last. Um, if you were to take a poll and ask a bunch of horror fans, horror collectors, which franchise is out there right now that doesn't have a proper box set, for Blu-ray. I think most people will probably tell you A Nightmare on Elm Street. And that's exactly what I have in front of me. This thing was amazing. 
I went on Etsy looking for Halloween VHS tapes and I come out with two box sets that are probably now two of my favorite box sets in my collection. This is A Nightmare on Elm Street, the 4K. Again, now these only come with the box and the empty cases. There are no movies, there are no discs that come with this. So I want to make that very clear. I'm going to say it again because I know there's a lot of people with thick skulls out there. This box set only comes with the box and the empty cases. There are no movies whatsoever in this set. Okay, now that that's out of the way, we can enjoy what this is now. You get, these, these haven't been released on 4K yet. They have been released on DVD and Blu-ray. I know that they have a, a couple of box sets where they have two movies per disc. So eventually these will come out on 4K. Now you have the box for it. And you get, I'm gonna pull these out and show you every, every movie but I'm going to show you the box first. You get this beautiful artwork. I think these boxes are on par or better than the Indicator Powerhouse box sets, and those are my favorite. I think those are the best. Indicator does it the best way with their box sets. This is right on par with that, and I'm not even, I'm not even joking. But uh, yeah, you get all, these, all this artwork. Maybe some of you have heard of this guy before because I've been chatting with him. Um, I've been running some ideas past him and he's like I said he's into it so he's bouncing ideas off me I'm bouncing ideas off of him he's coming up with new ideas this guy has his shit together and he's got some good stuff going so I already told him um, there's a couple things that I want to make custom I, I guess I maybe I can show you guys that at, at the end of this video if you want to stick around I'll tell you a couple of ideas that I bounced off of him and he's gonna make some stuff for me but this box set here has every movie that's in the franchise. So let me go through one by one here. We have the original, A Nightmare on Elm Street. And when these do come out on 4K, you can pop them all in here and have them all in one set. And not only that, but these are two disc cases. So you can put the Blu-ray and the 4K in that comes with this box set. Then you get part two. I'm not gonna open every one of them up but because they're all the same on the inside. But I mean, these are like official quality. Look at, he even has the Blu-ray. I mean, these, these are amazing. These are really, really good. I'm going to go through all of them because I think it's, it's worth it to show you guys what you're going to get if you order these. Here's part four, the Dream Master. I mean, look at how awesome that looks. You get the black 4K cases. You get the Dream Child. You get Freddy's Dead, The Final Nightmare. Look at the art on these, man. It's so much better than having the, uh, the two movies per disc. You get New Nightmare. You get Freddy vs. Jason. You get the remake. Jackie Earl Haley as Freddy. And you get Never Sleep Again. The documentary and they all fit in this box perfect so if you guys are interested I definitely would recommend that you click that link this guy's pretty busy he's a one-man operation um, so I have a feeling this guy's gonna take off he told me that there are some youtubers that made videos about these already I haven't seen them but I believe them um, I wanted to spread the love and show you guys what he's doing. So kind of help him out a little bit and help you guys with your collections. I'm going to pause it here, put this stuff away, and I'm going to tell you guys a couple of ideas that I have. And maybe you'll be interested in that too. All right. So I have a couple of ideas. These were the German media books that I had for the Nightmare on Elm Street series on Blu-ray. These came without a box. So these came just kind of loose like this. So I'm going to commission him to make me a box for this, and we're going to kind of go through and pick out some, some custom art for the box, and that's going to be sweet. Once these are all in a box, it's going to look so much nicer. Another thing I had in mind, I have all of these Friday the 13th DVDs. These are the, the deluxe editions with the lenticular covers. So I have one through eight, 
and I think these would these are DVDs by the way and I think these would look fantastic in a custom box and I talked to him about that I got him some some dimensions I took out my little ruler my tape measure and I got him all the dimensions that I need uh, there's another thing too that uh, I have a Harry Potter box set up here that's all the steel books I want to do something similar for my Hobbit and Lord of the Rings six steel books he's gonna he could make a box for that too and I have a couple of other ideas I'm not gonna go into all of that I just wanted to give you guys a couple of ideas I'm sure you have ideas of your own you know you can get the Star Wars steelbook box which I'm gonna do that too at some point you can get a box big enough to hold all the Star Wars steelbooks which is gonna be beautiful I think I'm missing like two or three though but once I get those I'm gonna need a box to hold them in it's gonna look nice so I'm gonna get those at some point too and the Godfather movies are gonna be released on steelbook here coming up pretty soon so he's going to make a box for the Godfather still books. So that's it for my video today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you got it, if you made it this far through, comment down below. Uh, Jason never dies. That'll be kind of a wink and a nod that you guys made it through my video and you're still watching. And thank you to all the people who have been subscribing. I appreciate that. And check out those links down below for Sub Rosa Studios and Blockbuster box sets. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.